In part B of this exercise, we're going to be looking at some simulated data. Data from an experiment where a liquid culture was allowed to grow and then samples taken at different time points and the OD at 600 was measured. We're going to use our standard curve that we created in part A and the equation from that curve to convert these OD measurements into cell concentrations so that we can see how the cell concentration increases or decreases over time and thus be able to plot the growth curve of the bacteria as they grow in that liquid culture. There's our equation. That's what we're going to use to convert these OD values to a cell concentration. So let's put in our formula that's going to allow us to convert our x, the OD reading, into a y, calculated cells per ml. So we're going to use that equation that we developed from our standard curve, that is 6 times 10 to the 9th times our x plus 7 times 10 to the 7th and we're going to hit enter and there is the cells per ml that corresponds to our first OD reading. We're going to pull that formula down after we convert this to scientific notation. And then we pull our formula down and there are all of our calculations. Now we're going to plot the log of the cells per ml against our time points. And we're going to use the log because the numbers are so big and also because it will show us where the exponential phase of the growth curve is as we'll see in a moment. So we're going to take the log base 10 of each of our cell concentrations and then for our chart we're going to select the time points in minutes and the log of the cell concentrations at each of those time points. We're going to insert a scatter chart with connecting lines 
and we should be able to see a nice growth curve. And there it is. So on this curve, we can pretty easily identify the lag phase. Here's the exponential phase. It's a straight line. The stationary phase, and then growth drops off into, a, into the death phase as the bacteria start to, to die. So this exponential phase is where we're going to look for some time points that we can use to calculate a doubling time. And we're going to look for two points along that straight line segment of the growth curve. and use the difference between those two points to calculate a doubling time. So we're going to use the formula given in your lab manual. And we're going to choose two time points. We can choose um, any two of these points along this straight line segment. We're going to choose 150. And then for our second time point, we're going to choose 120. And that's in minutes. And then for our x sub 1, that's the cell concentration at our first time point, the 150. And we want the log of that cell concentration, which we've already calculated. We can get that from our table. Make sure we copy the copy the value there. And then our x sub zero, this is going to be the log of the cell concentration at our second time point, the 120. Again, we've already calculated the log of the cell concentration, so we can just copy that from our data table. And then we're going to need the difference between our two time points as our t. And that's going to be 150 minus 120, or 30. So now we're going to use the formula in the lab manual to calculate k, which is our growth constant. So this is going to be the log of x1 minus the log of x2 and that quantity divided by our time difference t which is 30 multiplied by 0 0.301. So that's going to give us our growth constant. Then to find the doubling time, we just take 1 over the growth constant.
and we do that calculation and that gives us a doubling time of about 30 minutes.